Good to see you. I don't mean a lot of people. I was surprised. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's a nice bathroom y'all got, but I just tore it up. <laughs> Up in there. How y'all living? Damn, baby, you look good. If I told you you had a nice body, would you press it up against me? Hey, man! <laughs> I didn't get my invitation, so I just showed up. Because you know you can't throw a body without me. <laughs> Billy Woods and they making money in the game. Keep that, baby. Because my friends call me Dollar Bill. Can't throw a body without Dollar Bill. Look at that there. Say, baby, how you living? Woo, woo, that's a nice dress. It would look better on my bedroom floor. See what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, baby, you all that. I'm new in town. I don't know where you live. Ha, ha. Move this furniture. Let's get some dancing jumping over here. What's happening, man? Look out. Y'all want to see a joke? I'm a falcon. <laughs> Dollar bill in the house. Oh, come on. What's wrong? Uh, give me that lamp shade. Let me show you how to start a party. I start a party like jumping cables, man. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Woods' Life of the Party will not be seen tonight in order to bring you the following special presentation. At this moment in time, this is the news with Tommy Blaze, Maestro Clark, Deborah Magdalena, Dan O'Connor. someone coming out to see well hello there ladies and gentlemen this is no longer maestro clark this is now dollar bill Six more laps, baby. You're doing great, Tommy. How's the oil pressure? Good. Engine's running a little hot, and I'm going to need some fuel soon. Take another three laps and pull to the pit. We'll stop you off and slap some new tires in that day. I got Pearson on my tail. I don't want to lose any time. No problem. We're still under the yellow flag. We'll get you back out there in no time. Yeah, that's it. That old impasse on the outside. Okay, I got you. Oh, yeah. I get you, Pearson. Okay, keep cool. Get him on the next... Wednesday today. Honey, it's ten after eight. I thought you'd be here already. Oh, don't worry, Peaches. They'll be along soon. Oh, I tell you, I'm so excited to meet Bobby's new girlfriend. So am I. Oh, don't worry, honey. I'll get it. Mom? Dad? Dead girl! Both starving. Oh, where are my manners? Come on in. Come on in, son. <laughs> oh. So, dead girl, it's nice to finally meet you. <laughs> chips? Yeah. Oh, honey, go easy on the chips. It'll spoil your dinner. Hey, I mixed. 
I've mixed up a batch of my famous martinis. I hope everyone here is over 21. <laughs> oh, well, Deb gonna have one, Dad. I'm driving. Last time she drove, she died. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All righty then. One martini coming up. Dinner will be ready soon. I hope you like lasagna. Mom, Mom, she's dead girl, not deaf girl. What the? What the? What the? <laughs> Who could that, that be? be? Well, I'll get it. Pamela! Pamela French! Bobby's ex-girlfriend! What are you doing here? I want to talk to Bobby. I know he's here. I saw his car in the driveway. Well, let me see if he's here. Pamela, it's great to see you. Um, Mom, look, it's Pamela! Hello, Pamela! <laughs> Pamela, Pamela, Pamela. Dad, did you get a chance to say hello to Pamela? Hello again, Pamela. You look as wonderful as when I met you right at the front door. Dead girl! Or should I say dead trip? I thought you were my best dead friend. I guess I thought wrong. Pamela, it's not what it looks like. We're just in love and having great sex. Okay, so maybe it is what it looks like. You dead troll, and I'll kill you! Oh, you can't kill her. She's dead, girl. If you want a girl to love, a passive girl to love, then she'll be dead girl too. tonight. You again? I told you to stop calling me. Leave me alone. How does it feel to know you ruined my life, Lewis? I didn't do anything wrong. Stop calling me, please. Stop torturing me. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, hi. That was me, Steve Christmas. You know, nine years ago, Lewis stole my prom date, Brenda, away from me. I was destroyed. I swore that I would never let Lewis forget what he had done, and I've kept my promise. Now, normally, the cost of 150 calls a day between New York and California would be astronomical. But with NCI's new Enemies and Obsessions plan, I can feed my bitter banana for just pennies a day. All I had to do was give NCI a list of all the people who've made my life a living hell. Lewis, my office supervisor, my ex-wife, and talk show host Larry King. You see, now I can harass them when I want, as many times as I want, for as long as I want. And you can too. NCI's sales representatives are ready to help you release your personal demons. Why don't you give them a call? You'd be glad you did. Ooh. Larry King's just about to come on. I've got a call to make, and so do you. To sign up for NCI's Enemies and Obsessions plan, dial 1-800-HARASS. Operators are standing by now. Hello, Larry. I'm watching you. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Call now and join the fun. You can't hide, Larry. I'm after you and you stupid suspenders. <laughs> NCI's Enemies and Obsessions Plan. Reach out, reach out and soak is Top Story News with Jessica Lovell. Good evening. Our top story tonight. New allegations of sexual harassment against President Clinton. When asked to comment, the president had this to say. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> I'm Jessica Lovell, and this has been Top Story News. Every 15 seconds, 24 hours a day, this is Top Story News. This is Top Story News with Jessica Lovell.
Good evening. Our top story tonight, new allegations of sexual harassment against President Clinton. When asked to comment, the president had this to say. Now, wait a minute. Whoa. I'm Jessica Lovell, and this has been Top Story News. You give us 15 seconds, we'll give you one story. This is Top Story News. This is Top Story News. With Jessica Lovell. Good evening. Our top story tonight... New allegations of sexual harassment against President Clinton. When asked to comment, the president had this to say. Now, wait a minute, whoa. I'm Jessica Lovell, and this has been Top, top Story News. Four times a minute, 240 times an hour, this is Top Story News. This is Top Story News with Jessica Lovell. Good evening, our top story tonight. New allegations of sexual harassment against President Clinton. When asked to comment, the president had this to say. Now, wait a minute, whoa. I'm Jessica Clinton. I mean Jessica Lovell. And this has been Top Quicker, Story News. shorter, faster, better, this is Top Story News. What are you killing me here? What can I... This is Top Story News. Professional, you, you like I've never With done Jessica before. Lovell. Let me finish talking before I start. Good evening, our Top Story tonight. New allegations of sexual harassment against President Comment. Clinton, when asked to comment, the President had this to say. <laughs> Again and again no, and again. This is Top Story News. This is Top Story News. With Jessica Lovell. Good evening. Our top story tonight. Now, wait a minute. Whoa. He said he do it. I'm Jessica Lovell, and this is Top Story News. Ha <laughs> oh, ha! No. No, 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 no. Relentless repeating the same information. This is Top Story News. This is Top Story News. With Jessica Lovell. Whoa. Top story. Our top story is our top story tonight. Our top story tonight. Our top story tonight. Every 15 tonight. seconds, 24 hours a day. This is top story news. Madam, you mean the nature. Please don't leave. Oh, Reginald, I do love you, but I... I... Is there someone else? Um, of course not. You're the only one for me. Hello, Madeline. <gasps> Reginald! Chad! What are you doing here? I couldn't wait any longer. I had to see you. So, Madeline, it has been Chad all along. Yes, I'm sorry, Reginald. Hello, Chad. <laughs> Tiffany! I thought you were... Dead? No. I'm alive, and I want the whole world to know about us. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Oh, God, Stephanie! Stephanie, you're alive. We thought your plane had crashed. Uh, no, I'm sure. I never got on that plane. I ran away with Mark. I'm pregnant with his child. Mark? Who's Mark? Hey, Miss Miss Bowen. What's happening? How y'all feeling? Nice to meet you. Yeah, you Mark. You won't want to miss the high-powered world of expensive manicures and passionate fistfights of Hand Model Zing. Yeah, we get posted. Coming this fall to Fox. I'm about to get my job back at the store now.
flight time to New York should be under five hours. So please sit back and enjoy the flight, and thank you for choosing Trans Global Airlines. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, excuse flight attendant. Yeah, lady. Um, aren't you gonna go over the safety rules? Because this is the first time my little boy's flown. He's kind of scared. Sure, let me drop everything and go over a few safety tips. Excuse me for trying to have a little time for myself. Trying to live a little of my own life without catering to the almighty passenger every stinking second of my existence. All right, lady, here's some of the ingenious safety equipment on board this death trap in case of a mishap at 35,000 feet. Let's start by talking about an emergency water landing, which I guess would occur on the ever mysterious water runway. You see, lady, if we were supposed to land in the water, we'd have freaking pontoons instead of wheels. In any case, if we land in the water, don't worry because your seat cushion will also serve as a flotation device. And if you believe that, you'll also believe that the train table will become a jet ski. Your headset... Your headset scuba equipment, the overhead compartment, a dinghy, the coffee pot, a time machine. The fact is, your seat cushion will become a butt-scented, waterlogged cotton anchor that will drag your smoldering, screaming carcass to a horrible, watery death. Um, um, but won't the oxygen masks come down if there's any kind of danger? Oh, forgive me, oh, Grand Poobah, investigative reporter. I wouldn't want to leave out those nifty, high-quality oxygen masks that drop down during a loss in cabin pressure in the event of a mountain landing. <laughs> hey, mister, would we lose cabin pressure if we landed on a mountain? Uh, let me see, uh, Cosmo. A commercial DC-10 hurtling at 650 miles an hour slams into the side of a mountain, spewing dismembered body parts all over creation like rice in a wedding. Yeah, I think we'd lose a little cabin pressure, kid. But don't worry, you'll get your oxygen masks. Unfortunately, they'll do little more than fuel the already raging inferno. Nothing like a shut up your oxygen to stoke a good human bonfire as we spiral toward the earth in a fiery ball of human flesh. How's everything going, Mortimer? Oh. Hi, Captain Harding. I was just going over some safety tips for the passengers, sir. Uh, good work. Carry on. You, sir. Captain! Enjoy the flight. Captain! <laughs> Listen, lady, I hate to break it here, but if we survive that torturous holocaust, the human stampede to exit the remains of this flame-engorged tubular coffin will squeeze the life out of any living being, especially smaller children like your young, dumb son. So sit back, shut up, relax, and thank you for choosing Transglobal Airlines as your method of expiration. Oh, and you won't be needing this little call button because you won't see me for the rest of the freaking flight. You're experiencing a little turbulence, so for your safety, please return to your seats and fasten your seatbelts. Oh, boy! Here we go! We're going down! This is the end! It's time for that mountain landing, kid! We're going straight to hell! We're doomed! And I'm the only one who knows because I'm... Flight Boy! <laughs> And we'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs>